All right, I want to do some music theory 101. And the first thing to say is that music is a lot like math. Maybe you could say music equals math plus desire, feeling, emotion, beauty. Although math is kind of beautiful in and of itself, but music is closely tied with math. So let's take a look at the most basic thing you can do on the piano, which is play a scale, a C scale, let's say. Um, you notice there are black keys over here, white keys down here. And first thing I'm going to teach you, kind of the foundation of everything else, is the half step. And a half step is the closest distance between two pitches on a keyboard. So if I'm here, what's the half step? Well, the closest key is right here, right? That's a half step. And in the other direction, what's the closest key? You might say it's this one. But actually, there's one that's even closer in pitch. So, you hear that this black key is a little bit closer to the original pitch. So this is a half step, half step, half step, half step. Now there's no black key in between these two, so this nearest key is here. All right, those are half steps. So what's a half step from here? It's either one of these white keys. Now let's talk about what a whole step is. A whole step is just two half steps. So one whole step equals two half steps, just like one whole pie equals two half pies. So let's say if we want to go a whole step from C, we go half step, another half step, and so that's a whole step. The other direction, one half step plus another half step, so that is a whole step. Now we have these two basic concepts, half steps and whole steps, and we have enough information to teach the major scale. Major scale is always the same set of relationships. It's always a whole step, whole step, half step, followed by three more whole steps in a row, and you, you finish it out with the second half step, like this. Whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, and then the last one is a half step. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. I'm trying to say that really fast, 18 times. Okay, so now the cool thing about that is you can take that set of relationships and you can apply it anywhere you want on the keyboard. Go ahead, pick a key, any key you see. Thank you, you picked D. All right, so let's apply the math. Whole step, whole step. See, we had to skip there. And then we do the half step. Now three whole steps. One, two, can't go here, gotta go here. Finish it off with a half step. So now we have the major scale in any key. You just use that same pattern with the two def three definitions I've taught you. Half step, whole step, and the pattern for a major scale. Now we're gonna talk about chords. What is a chord? A chord is any two notes, or more. Could be three notes, that's much prettier. Could be four notes, could be five notes, and so on. Just more than one note hit at the same time. But now let's apply, um, Let's. I wanna teach the next concept, which is a triad. A triad just means three notes. And we're going to teach the major triad, which is going to be um, every other note of the major scale, starting with the first note, which we also in music call the tonic. So if you start with the first one, every other note, you're going to skip the D, you're going to go to the E, then you're going to skip the F and go to the G. That's a triad. Now, if we stay in the key of C, remember there's no black notes being pressed in the key of C. So we just move this up, every other note, skip the E, go to the F, skip the G, go to the A. That's a triad, but it's a different sounding triad. Do you hear how they sound different? Happy, triumphant. This one sounds a little bit sad. Um, as they say in Spinal Tap, D minor, the loveliest of all keys. But it's just a weird, you know, difference, right? 
you need both minor and major chords in music to, and, and many other kinds of chords to fill out the emotions. Let's get a little technical about what is a major triad. It is two intervals being stacked on top of each other. Oh boy, I introduced a new word, interval. Interval just means the distance between two notes. So let me teach a major third. A major third is super easy. It's just two whole steps. So if I wanna go start here, what's a major third? Up, one whole step, and then a second whole step. That's a major third. So what would be a minor third? Well, it's just three half steps instead of four half steps. It's a 1.5 whole steps. So let's try it. One half step, two half steps, three half steps. That's a minor third. So a major triad is a major third, and then on top of it, you put a minor third. So you start here as the new beginning, and you go three up, one, two, three. That's a major triad. So you could pick any note on the keyboard and do a major triad. So let's pick this one. Major third, so, and then a minor third on top of that, one, two, three. Okay, so that's a major triad. Let's do a minor triad. We'll start here on D. Again, we're in the scale of C, so there are no black keys in this particular scale. So if we're starting here, let's do a minor third on the bottom now, because a minor triad reverses it or inverts it. You put the minor third on the bottom of the chord, three up, one, two, three, and now the major third on the top of the chord, one, two, three, four. So if we do the minor triad, it's got the minor third on the bottom. If we wanted to make this a major triad, we would invert that and put the major third on the bottom of the chord. So one, two, three, four. And then this would become a minor third. All right, that's theory 101. And next up is theory 102, chord scales.